everyone. I am here with a flip through today of my uh, Alice in Wonderland journal that I made for my granddaughter, Sarah. So um, I used the digital kits from Artie Mays and also some from Dreams Etc. And then some of the embellishments are a tattered dream. I'll try and um, let you know which ones those are as we go through the book. You really helped me with this book, and we did it kind of together. It turned out to be a real chunky book, <laughs> but there was a lot of things I wanted to add. So um, I think I said in a video before the cover, I did a 9 by 12 envelope, and I just Mod Podged on uh, Tim Holtz tissue paper, scrunching it up as I went. And then the front is um, a little layered piece with one of the printables from Artie Mays. And then one of her tags here. This little, um, this little embellishment is from A Tattered Dream. And then on the back, I put this book belongs to Sarah. And I, I, I just covered it up a little bit because just to protect her privacy a little bit. So... There we go. Okay, well, Sarah, if you're watching this, I hope that Nana will show you all the nooks and crannies. Maybe you found them, and maybe there's a couple that you'll discover as we're going through the book. So, first page, I did one of these cool pockets that um, Yvonne Preston does. So, check out her channel for a tutorial on those. Um, it's got one of Ari Mays' big tags tucked inside there. A little tag here and then a um, index card with lace. Here's one of Artie Mays's printables. And then here, if you watch the craft with me's, this piece of um, quilting is from my grandmother. So it's my granddaughter Sarah's great great grandmother. She has um, hand stitched this piece. And so I just tucked a little tuck here, and um, this is one of the, this is Artie Mays, this is Dreams, etc. But the top of the tag says, that's very important, jury, write that down. And so I said, Sarah, the quilt on the opposite page was handmade by your great-great-grandma. If you look on the back, you'll see her tiny hand stitches. She didn't even use a sewing machine. It's a treasure. Here's how she's related to you. And then I put her and then Nana, me, Nama, which is what they called my mom, and then my great, or my grandma, your great, great grandma. So happy 10th birthday to Sarah. So then this is a page from a little vintage Alice book that I had. I did some stenciling throughout on some of the pages that weren't quite as embellished. This is a dreams, etc. as is this and as is this. These two are Artie Mays. So I did a real combo in here of the two Alice in Wonderland kids. Um, this page, another pocket that Yvonne Preston did. This red trim is from A Tattered Dream, as is the ticket underneath. Then I have The Story Begins. I've tucked one of the jars from Artie Mays into the pocket here. There we go. And then uh, one of the envelopes from Artie Mays, and it's got... A little journaling card in the inside too. Let's see, I can add that this way so we could see Alice. And Artie Mays again. And the backs of Artie Mays, I did some of her printables on the back. I did a snippet belly band that I felt went well with this Dreams Etc. page. And then this is just one of my little mixed media tags from when I was doing that sort of thing. And um, I thought it would go well with, you know, the time being a big theme in Alice. So I just tucked that like that and tucked it under the snippet belly band. On this side is the folder that we worked on together. On the inside of it, I put one of, um, one of Artie Mays' tags. All, everything on this one's Artie Mays. 
There's a pocket here with a couple things and a pocket here with a journaling card. And then I just clipped it onto the page there. Here's a fabric flip up. So Sarah, you can write underneath and it can be all, it can be all private if you choose to write in your journal. This is a little um, flip out page and this is a belly band here. So let me grab it. Oops. <laughs> let me grab a tag. So anyway, you can you could tuck something in there if you wanted to. Some stenciling. Here's a pocket that I made out of a linen piece and an Artie Mays journaling card and one of my embossed tags. This again, this trim is from a tattered dream. This is Dreams Etc. over here. And these are both from Artie Mays. And in the back, I have just a big journaling card that can be written on the back that has um, has been made from the um, from the old vintage book. And this again is one of the pockets that Yvonne Preston shows how to make. This is one of my journaling card or my mixed media tags. And then in these pockets that were made with jelly prints, I just put some extra pages from the Dreams Etc. kit in here. And then this is some of my painted paper. And then this was the other project that Yvonne Preston shows how to make. It looks like an envelope, but then you open it up and there's journaling paper inside. And that's just tucked on there with paper clip. Another Artie Mays. In the middle of the signature is a jelly print and um, I have a couple of charms hanging off the middle and one says laugh and one is the sunshine for Sarah. The other side of the painted paper. And here I've put a glassine bag and um, it actually has a little tuck right here too so something could be stuck in there. Um, in the bag is a little uh, extra pad of paper that I made using a tutorial by Wendy at Wendy's Journal Adventures. And it's just got a little fabric on top and then I put one of the printables from Artie Mays on the front. So that just tucks into this bag. It's more stenciling, another page from the Dreams Etc. kit. So cute. And then this has a flip out, but I've also made it a little pocket here. So a journaling card or something could go in there. This is one of the big tickets from the Artie Mays digital kit. Artie Mays again, one of Yvonne's pockets. This is one of my mixed media tags and then the journaling card in back. And on this side, again, that linen pocket with a couple of journaling cards. This one from, well, both of these are from Artie Mays. Let's see, this is from Dreams Etc. And I've tucked on here a uh, Tracy Fox inspired tag that has, she has a tutorial on how to make these tags. Then on this side is the flip up with um, a page from the book. A little tuck spot with a couple of the Artie Mays, a tag and journaling card there. Then this is the um, faux front envelope included in this journal and it flips open like this. This flips up and you've got various tags in here and here and here and then my arm this flips out 
and you've got some tags tucked into that part too. So I hope you have fun with that, Sarah. I sure had fun making it for you. Okay, so then that is just attached with this binder clip just because it's a bit heavier. So just clip that like that. And on this page, um, this is Dreams Etc. And then I have a little paper clip here down at the bottom to hold it. But this slips out for more journaling space. And just got a little extra tag here that could be journaled on as well. Then this is one of the tickets from dreams etc and all these pieces are from dreams etc as well so this paper and we've got this postcard with the Cheshire cat on it there wasn't a lot of him in this book so I wanted to include that we've got Alice here and then we've got another one of the Queen's um, tags there then this little tag was gifted to me. Um, it's a Franken tag, and um, I thought it made a cute little tuck spot there. And I've added a piece of paper from the Dreams Etc. All the Dreams Etc. paper is coffee dyed, so it has a nice feel to it. And then a tag from Artie Mays and a tag from um, Dreams Etc. Another Dreams, etc. The vintage book. Here's the other part of the quilt from my grandma. This page. And then this pocket, um, that's my next thing. And I wanted it to be more of a surprise. So um, I'm not showing it on the video. But I'm going to put extra tags and journaling cards and stuff in there. So that Sarah has lots of fun things to play with. So thank you so much, everyone, for watching the craft with me's. And... Um, helping with making this journal. I hope that Sarah will love it. And um, for sure, there's, there's lots of love put into it for her. So thanks everybody for watching and we will just see you next time. Bye-bye.